Hello, appraisers. This is Brandon with Spark for Appraisers, also the co-creator of Synapse, and I'm a residential real estate appraiser myself. Just wanted to thank you for trying out Synapse. We obviously hope you really like it. And I just want to tell you a few things as you start to use it. First being that Synapse is not some magical tool that will tell you what your adjustments should be. Synapse does run a whole bunch of math on all the data you provide using different appraisal methods and your settings to give you the results for a particular feature that you're trying to get an adjustment for and then you reconcile those results get rid of stuff that doesn't make sense place more weight on whatever and you reconcile that to form your opinion of a well-supported opinion of what that adjustment should be and all that data will also go into your digital work file that we provide so that's the first thing. Second, I think a concern of some appraisers when they first get to the screen where you upload the data to Synapse is what in the world do you, is the best thing to upload? A big set of data, small set of data, stuff just like my subject property, maybe stuff from another community. Uh, what do I do? So I, there's no perfect answer to this question. Every appraisal method for coming up with an adjustment might have different things that work well, different sets of data, but I would encourage you in Synapse, you can upload up to three sets of data. And I would encourage you that at least one of those sets of data, and you can upload just one if you want, at least one of those sets of data should be whatever you, the expert, the appraiser deem to be competing with your subject property. So however you define competing, whether you narrow it down by GLA, lot size, age, bedroom count, whatever it is, however you do it, do that narrow it down to whatever you deem to be competing and you can go back as far in time as you'd like to synapse does have tools to help you account for time you're in control of all that so i would encourage you to go back in time as far as you'd like as far as the other sets of data there's a link below to a, another video that goes into much more detail on this topic so i would encourage you to check that out also important that anytime you need help in synapse you can up at the top right click the gear icon and then click contact us and either call us or shoot us an email, whatever you prefer. And then also up in the top right, there's a green question mark. Whatever screen you're on, if you click that, it will take you to our in sort of instruction manual on that particular screen so that you can see what you might be able to do and how to customize whatever's on that particular screen. So you can go there. In fact, when you get to the data set screen, you can click that green question mark and it will give you basically text instructions of what I'm telling you right now, but in more detail, and also that same video link that takes you to the more in-depth video on this particular topic. And you can do that wherever you are in Synapse. So I would encourage you to do that if you need to. And then the last thing I wanted to cover, the third thing is on the results screen, you may see results that look funky. You may see like a, uh, some type of regression might tell you that a full bath adjustment should be $70,000 on a $300,000 home or property you know that's ridiculous and way too high but that doesn't what i just wanted to tell you is that doesn't mean the math is wrong the math is accurate that is the actual result from that particular method on the data you provided based on you know whatever time adjustments you chose to make and all that kind of stuff but what that does mean is that adjustment is just wonky and obviously way too high and you can just exclude it just like you would toss out a comp that's adjusting way too high and you don't understand why you would toss out that comp just like that you would toss out this result and synapse allows you to toss out those results they still go into your work file but they won't go anywhere else and you won't have to look at those on the screen if you decide to exclude them so i would just encourage you to realize that you will get funky results sometimes especially with regression and that happens but the more you adjust things and model things and there's a whole other video on all this stuff then um, the more accurate things will get so i would encourage you again down below i'll link to a video also, you can check it out in the green question mark that goes into much more detail on this topic. But just don't be scared away by seeing some funky results that look way too high or way too low. Hope you all like it, and thanks for taking the time.